Hello and welcome back to Stock Markets with KR. This is Umesh Rindani and this is Sunday's special episode all about rate hike announced by the RBI and how the situation is today or kya ho sakta hai mere hisab se is rate hike se bachne ke liye ya to iska impact kam karte so these are the uh, some of the key points that uh, are available in respect of the existing rate situation and all this is available on Google. So I have not done, this is not rocket science that I am sharing with you. And this uh, is displayed on uh, the, your screen as well. The current rate of inflation is 7.01. The wholesale price index uh, based inflation is 9.19 current repo rate. Uh, what is repo rate? Please Google it. I'm not going to explain to you. You will be able to find it out. And that is 5.4. And the FD rate jo aapko mil hai from the banks is 5.25% for three years and above. I checked it for myself because I thought ki ye sab rate high hota rehta hai. So maybe the rates have gone up. But no, maybe the rates may have gone, gone up by about, uh, you know, to 5.5 or 5.6, but not beyond that. They are not likely to go up for this FD accounts. Fuel price uh, in Mumbai is 106.31 as of today, which is 6th August uh, evening. And uh, this is what it is. And as far as the... Other prices are concerned, housing loan rate is around seven and a half. It varies from bank to bank. Seven and a half uh, lowest mujhe lag raha hai. Uh, plus there are processing fees, etc. etc. Savings bank account interest is three percent. So agar inflation up ko hum ye yahan pe dikha rahe hai ki current rate of inflation is seven percent, and we are getting three percent on our savings bank account, plus five percent agar hum karenge. Sub mila ke bhi humko 8 taka hi mil raha hai to usme se 7 taka to ye inflation ka jayega right and wholesale price inflation is 9 in reality the inflation which is hitting you and me is around 12 percent why because of various things like this fuel etc etc which hits us in our day-to-day -day, uh, life now why this us uh, the rate hike uh, of 50 points was 50 basis points was because uh, U.S. Fed also increased the rate uh, over there aggressively. ECB, European Central Bank also raised. And just on Thursday, Bank of England also raised the rates by 50 basis points. So RBI had to increase the rates by 50 basis points as against the expectation of only 30 or 40. So last time, when everyone was expecting that they would do 50 bhi kar de, so, you know, 30 or 40 kar diya, lekin this time when 30, 40 was expected, they increased to 50. Now, why did they have to do like that? Because, in my opinion, RBI had to do this because it was, first of all, a belated reaction in the first place itself. The earlier uh, rate hike which was made was done in a belated manner. RBI, in my opinion, should have thought through about inflation because all along they were saying that our inflation target is this between four and six percent so whatever when four and six percent when it is crossing five five and a half that time you should have thought about it some measures should have been put in place to you know squeeze the liquidity but none of these were taken and that is why we are in a situation where we are today the previous rate hike, as I mentioned, should have been uh, of 50 basis point itself instead of 40. Possibly some change, uh, something would have been, uh, you know, done to uh, achieve that, but it was not done. And in my opinion, they also missed reading the global impact of what was going on. You know, the ongoing turmoil between Russia and Ukraine and then it's a cascading impact on the global economies everywhere, whether it is in developed countries or, uh, uh, you know, developing countries or underdeveloped countries. These were possibly misread. And now they had to do this 50 basis point increase because if they do not do that, then Indian rates would be lower than the global rates and the FIIs of the foreign institutional investors would be simply exiting our markets and they would pump uh, out that money and invest in other countries where the interest rates are higher 
Well, you know, if somebody is giving you more uh, return, why would you not go to that place and uh, get more money? Isn't it? सिंपल सी बात है ये कोई भी कॉमन आदमी कर सकता है मैं भी ऐसा ही करूंगा बराबर है ना और आप भी ऐसा ही करेंगे सो so द ये जो रेट हाइक है वो ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी की वजह से हुआ है ग्लोबल फैक्टर्स की वजह से हुआ है ये दैट इज माय रीडिंग इसकी इम्पैक्ट क्या है सब जगह पे भाव ऊपर आ गए सब जगह पे आप सोचो सुबह से उठने से अगर आप चालू करोगे so your first thing is your alarm which invariably nowadays would be uh, you know via your phone even those uh, would have become expensive then tea brush etc etc everything has become expensive common man is left with lesser and lesser amount of money in hand or kafi cases mein ye negative bhi ho sakta hoga because people would have been forced to borrow from friends families or यू नो अनोन पीपल एंड देन बैंक क्योंकि पैसा सबके लिए लगता है रोटी कपड़ा मकान के लिए पैसा लगता है एंड देट इज वेर द कॉमन मैन इज हिट द मोस्ट जिनके पास जो हाइएस्ट टैक्स ब्रैकेट में है दे वुड नॉट माइंड एनी इंक्रीज इन द रेट दे वुड नॉट ये थोड़ा पिंच होगा शायद बिकॉज ओ आई एम नॉट एबल टू ईट यू नो वन मोर मील आउटसाइड Uh, that's okay but it's not going to impact their lifestyle right so this is what the main difference is common man jo hai uske par sabse badi ye impact hoti hai aur common man ko hi dhyan mein rakh ke aage chalna chahiye and in my opinion if common man is unable to buy things of daily essentials etc the overall demand may also fall there may be some slackness in the economy if enough measures are not taken by the regulatory authorities and how to overcome these things in my humble opinion we should uh, the government should cut or remove gst on daily essentials for now because that is the only way you will be able to you know help the money uh, which is spent on gst be with the consumers अगर आप बोलेंगे तो ये तो क्या बात कर रहे हो आप लेकिन मैं आपको डेली एसेंशियल्स की बात कर रहा हूँ सपोज यू आर पेइंग फिफ्टी रुपीज फॉर अ लीटर ऑफ मिल्क एंड इफ द मिल्क इज नाउ अवेलेबल एट फोर्टी रुपीज एट अमाउंट्स टू अ सेविंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट ये तो बहुत ही अच्छी बात है तो आपको हर पांच दिन में एक लीटर मिल्क फ्री हो जाएगा इज इट इट गुड थिंग राइट इट्स अ गुड थिंग and you must do such things to help the common man you know end up with at least 100 rupees of surplus ab kyunki aapko shayad aap log mere baat pe hasenge but this is the reality of life you know majority of the households are facing this problem now further we need to cut the levies on fuel because fuel is the one which fuels everything यहां से अगर आप कुछ भी आइटम ले रहे हो तो दैट इज कमिंग वाया द यूज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट वेदर इट इज रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट और एयर ट्रांसपोर्ट और सी ट्रांसपोर्ट एवरीबडी यूजेस फ्यूल सो इफ यू कट लेवेज ऑन फ्यूल देन द इम्पैक्ट ऑन द मूवमेंट ऑफ गुड्स वुड बी यू नो रिड्यूस टू सम एक्सटेंट द कॉस्ट इन्वॉल्व वुड गेट रिड्यूस एंड द मैन्युफैक्चर वुड बी एबल टू पास इट ऑन to the consumers hopefully the other op, uh, alternative is to increase the supplies because if you don't increase the supply it's common economic principle that demand supply ka jitni demand zyada rahegi utna bhav zyada rahega to demand zyada hai okay i can understand for say for example daily essentials uh, uh, for milk bread increase the supply do something how to do that that needs to be thought through but you need to increase supplies lift all curbs on production jaise ki globally ho raha hai opec ne decide kiya hai ki september se uh, they will be lifting curbs on the production of oil production and they will increase the rate at which the oil is getting produced why wait till september do it now only no why can't we convince those people that humko aaj zarurat hai september mein nahi shayad september tak kaun zinda rahega kisko malum hai right this is a kind of situation you can give tax rebates immediately don't wait for the budget do that sitaraman uh, thing which was done 3 4 years ago 
on in the month of September and give tax rebates to people who are in the minimum tax bracket. I'm not saying give to everyone, give relief to people who really need the most. And we must follow the path of you know, sensible economic approach as far as this is concerned. Keep the common man in mind and not those who are sitting in the top tax brackets. So you will understand it And if you want to know more about it, you need to follow our uh, YouTube channel and you should also wait for the episodes that on the financial awareness and discipline series that we are building up in on the YouTube channel. So please, friends, uh, if you have liked this uh, particular video, please let me have your thoughts. And what do you think about this rate hike? What do you think about this uh, you know, increasing cost of uh, living? What you would have done if you were the finance minister or you were the RBI governor? I have given my thoughts and I would uh, be waiting to read and listen to your thoughts as well. Thank you for being there and you have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.